security this afternoon at National Harbor. This after a shooting at a restaurant there last night. Police announced a short time ago they have two people charged. It's the first incident of its kind in the 10 year history of National Harbor. A lot of visitors told us they had no intention of letting this incident ruin their experience. Scott Green is at National Harbor this evening to follow up. Scott, this has been a place of safety and enjoyment. Well, I think it remains a place of safety. This is a lone black mark in an entire 10 year history. A beautiful springtime day here crowded. The restaurant where this happened last night did take the day off. They were closed for the day at the Cadillac Ranch after two security guards were wounded in an altercation at the door last night. The first incident of its kind in the 10 year history of the landmark National Harbor development. A shooting at Cadillac Ranch at 1240 AM and two suspects, 21 year old Montana Artis of Waldorf and 19 year old Tony Irene Marie Smith are charged. Police maintained a very visible presence here all day, a sign of how important National Harbor is to the county. The 10 year anniversary of its opening is Sunday. 12 million visitors flock to this landmark waterfront development of attractions, restaurants, hotels and shops every year. It's a good place for families and even just couples, you know, just strolling along the harbor. The Jones family of Chicago not letting an overnight incident mar the trip. It's very nice. It's, I mean, the weather's beautiful today, so we're looking to go on the Capitol Wheel and, and uh, just have a good time. The lunch crowd soaking up the spring sun. And it's nice, the restaurant, so out on the, overlooking the water. Witnesses said last night's shooting happened when Montana and Smith disputed a bar tab. Two security guards paid the price. And then the security guards tried to stop him at the front door. He, I guess they exchanged words and then turned around and shot him. The suspects were immediately tracked to a nearby hotel and arrested inside. Injuries to the security guards described as not life threatening. National Harbor has its own dedicated Prince George's County Police Force, 20 officers covering this place 24 7. That's in addition to a private security force uh, that's on duty here. The major crime rate here for the past 10 years has basically been non existent until last night. Reporting live at National Harbor, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.